the business end of the season. We're still sitting in fourth place. And today we play top of the table, Inter. Very scary. But let's get into some Project Palermo. Welcome to Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP here in the DP Dome and today we've got two big games. We play Inter, top of the league, away to those mob and we will face off also against Palmer at home. Uh, six points, if we can get them, we'll be in pretty good shape for the run in. Uh, since you were last year, absolutely nothing happened. We played a friendly against Bari. Reason being, we're trying out this new tactic. I wanted to get it bedded in and there was an international break. Garen Kowal scored on international duty for Australia, which was lovely. But today we have to play Inter first up and we're just gonna jump straight in because as I said, nothing's happened. But the new tactic is in place and it did quite well in the friendly against Barry. We won that 4-2, which was nice. Garen Kowal is suspended today because he's accumulated too many yellow cards. That's still an issue. And full disclosure, I've quick picked this squad because I don't care. So. Uh, as things stand, we've got Fruitil and Gold, Gallo, Maturo, Velukovic, and Perotti as our defenders. Uh, I do want to get Mark Daly back into the squad at some point because I really like him. That'll probably happen in the next match against Palmer, depending on how things go today. Adopo and Ranokia as our defensive midfielders. And then Saidi, Vasic, and Radielli for the attacking three with Evandro once again up front. Can you play any other roles at all that might be useful to us here? Not really. We'll keep him as an advanced forward because that's what I like to do. Uh, we will proceed to match. We've still got a bunch of youngsters knocking around in the team. And really, I, I just want to get the, the three points. The youngsters are just there to make up numbers, really. And they keep playing under-20s football. We can't even put them in the matchday squad to fill out the bench. But this new tactic, I really, really do <laughs> want it to work. Uh, I do want the boys to pick up where they left off last time with the big win against Barry. We're just trying to hang on to a Champions League spot if we can. As mentioned last time, I'm fine with any variety or species of European football. But now that we're so close, I just want it. And I want to prove all the critics wrong, saying we should finish 15th or lower down the table. We have massively overperformed. And I'd like to have that continue on because it's been a lot of fun. There we are in fourth place, which is insane. We were never this high back in the day during the Wizard of Oz which will return for FM25 in March. We'll be kicking off somewhere with an Australian club. No idea which one, and no idea if it'll be meant or women's football. We'll see how FM25 shaped up. We've done well there to win the ball back for Rotsi, doing good work. Here's Wiley now, looking to play it up, and finds Vasic, plays it through to Radielli, who gets sort of boxed in there. Perotti finds the space for Anaki, who plays it out wide to see. That's a great through ball for Evandro, who shoots and puts it wide. But that's a really good chance, and that's exactly how this tactic is supposed to work. Creating opportunities in those central areas. We get the ball out there, into pick it up. Into a really, really good side. And if we can get anything out of this game, it'll be a bit of a miracle, because I've had our number uh, the whole time going Serie A. And oh, that was dangerous. And that's how good they are. Just so quick in transition. Everybody knows their roles and where they're supposed to be. It's almost like their manager hasn't changed tactics heading into the last 10 games of the season which frankly I think is an act of cowardice and he should sort his life out. Here's Vandro running in. Oh, he was nearly there. And now Raheem Sterling, who was at Inter for some reason, is legging it down the right hand side. That's a brilliant challenge by Gallo, but Sterling's got it back. They're still looking to play themselves in here. We've given it back to them, sadly, and played them through. Fruita with a really good save. The boys are up for it. We're going to drop some encouragement. I don't think that's going to go through before they take this corner. Hopefully we don't concede and make a mess of things. Fruitdorf spares my blushes and keeps that ball out of the back of the net. It's a pretty easy save in the end, but good opportunity for Inter yet again. Vandre up for the header. No good there. But Adolpo's done well to win the ball, and we just launch it forward, pull the keeper out of position. If we can win it back here, Inter are in a spot of bother. We're laying it back to the keeper. we are keeping him penned in pretty well for the most part. Radielli's done there, well there, plays it forward, but the highlight ends. We're not creating a buttload of chances, are we? But we've had more possession, which is a good sign. I like having more of the ball. If we've got the ball, they can't score. But again, they're so dangerous that it doesn't really matter because they can do this potentially as a tour. 
Good strong challenge from Al Matoro, not Lautaro. And if we can keep him out of range there, we'll just about have... Jeez, it's action packed. All the action's into, of course. But we're holding our own and we're defending well. Maybe this shape's got something about it and I've cracked the code. I've broken the game. I absolutely haven't broken the game. No idea how this is going to work in Syria. A win against lower division Bari compared to facing off against top of Syria Inter with a brand new shape. Two very different prospects. And again, just hoping, uh, probably against hope, for a performance from Evandres. Hassling the goalkeeper there relentlessly, which is good to see. Bit of pressure. I like it. But Inter now just pass it through us and like a, a hot knife through butter, which is troubling to say the least. Uh, looking at our defensive shape, we're holding it in pretty well. Perozzi's done really well there to cut out the danger. And now we're just sort of trapped in our own third. We've given it away cheaply and they fluff their lines, but that's an absolute brain fart from our defence. And luckily we haven't paid the price. But my word, what were they thinking there? Just a poor ball. And now Inter on the attack again. Perozzi with a crunching challenge and he's been red carded which uh, just not ideal at all. What do we do here? I honestly don't know. I guess we could drop Vasic out. If we go, if we go back to our control possession system, Vasic is the man to, to sacrifice here. And if we bring on, where are you hiding? Where's my boy? Ratnik. He's going to come on and play right back. And then I think we drop these two into defensive midfielder roles. And we'll play them as defensive midfielders on support. We'll play you as a libero. And then we'll grab ourselves an inverted fullback. So the idea here is our defensive mids can move forward. Velukovic can come up as an extra defender. The inverted fullback will hang around back here. Ratnik will hang around back here. And Matura will hang around back. So in transition, we'll have three at the back to try and cover the flanks. Lukovic can push up and try to help us out in attack. I can't really I can't really drop Evandre back, but if we play him as a pressing forward, that might give us a bit more defensive oomph. That's the plan anyway. Is it gonna work? No idea. No idea at all. Um but we are gonna stick with our high line. Keep that as is. Short kick, center back, counter pressed. Yep, I like all of that. And all of this. So keeping everything pretty much the same. But just trying to keep some semblance of defensive shape. Oh, we've defended that well. Dopo with a good header to clear the danger. We're going to be under the pump for the rest of this game now. I, I don't know that that Perotti challenge was worth the red card. He went in hard for sure. But... I, I don't really think it was worth the sending off. But it could just be a case of the match engine doing this dirty and not representing things properly. But we have conceded. We defended valiantly, but now that we're a man down, it's a much tougher ask. I'm not even going to watch the replay because it, it just makes me sad. Sorry. Instinctively hit skip because I'm gutted. And it's so unlike Perotti to do that, honestly. Like, I don't think we've ever seen him get a red card before. And he was so good before that. Cutting out passes, it was really important. And now Ratnik needs to step up with a bit of a lack of fitness. We've already we've got another two yellow cards in the back line. We've just picked up another one for the defensive mid. We're going to encourage the boys. But we've got a we've got our work cut out for us to try and get back into this one. I think it's getting away from us here. I don't know, it's easy to get down and, and negative too quickly in football manager, especially when there's a whole half of football to play, but that's what Inter can do, and, uh, and that's a problem. 
that is a big problem there. We're tuning down. I think we'll just go back to attacking and, uh, and press on. Try to get something out of the game. Radielli hasn't shown up. You've had an hour, mate, and you've not got the job done for us. So off you pop. Chayuna can come on for him. I think we'll throw on Obanski in place of Ranikia, who, again, he's not shown up either. And uh, we'll play with the Scunjo Valente. We'll do something a bit fancy. Why not? Is that all we need to do here? Anything else? Abandrew hasn't set the world on fire, has he? And Matura is not playing well, so some fresh legs at the back to try and shore up that back line. And we'll see what we can do from this position. Fructo plays it up, looking for a Palomo shirt, can't find it, but Evandro just takes the ball away viciously, it must be said. So he's up for it now. And oh, that's just a poor ball from Ratnik. Oh my goodness, total brain explosion. That's not supposed to happen in this situation. While he's down at a 6.2, but that's not his fault. If he's been punished for that in the match rating, then that's just hideous because that's not on him. That was Ratnik's fault. There's Wally there. He's not to blame for that goal. Ratnik is, absolutely. And now the game's over. We're just trying to save face at this point. Which is counterintuitive given what set us to an attacking instruction. But we need to score a goal. We need to do something. We're playing it all the way back. Inter are just playing us off the park. There's nothing we can do about it. Vandre's done well though. Again, he's taken the ball away as the press team forward. We tried him there before and he did well, but, but he kind of plays well one game at a time. We can't string him together yet, but he's young. He's only 18, playing a new system. A dope with a really good chance. The defender was just in the way and we've been robbed of a consolation goal there. Corner from Chayuna, no joy. And now Internet to counter with the highlight and 17 shots they've had. We've got a couple of players who were just dead on their feet. So he's picked up a knock as well, which is not great news. I'm not going to play De Chiara out there. That just seems like an insanity. But I don't really have anyone else to come on and help us out. Uh, young Guistino is going to come on. He's not very good at football, but he's going to play today because we're poop out of options. Um... And we've got to get Valu off the pitch because he's doing us a mischief. Swap that over. We've got anyone else who can play right back? Not really. Oh, it's just not great, is it? Young Distefano. I can't make any more substitutions, so that's not going to happen for us, is it? Ratnick's going to have to stay out there. Wally's going to have to stay out wide. Switch him to that and bin off this libero experiment, which is, well, actually, no. Let's just, if you're going to do it, do it. Go forward. Get in there. Make a nuisance of yourself. <laughs> We're pot committed. Like, we don't, we don't have an alternative here. It's just not going to happen. I guess one thing we could do is this and that and bring on Segre instead. See if that works. Oh, I'm so indecisive. And I'm disappointed that this game's gone the way it has. It could have been a lot closer if not for the red card. And, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just get him back doing this it's going to look exactly the same but the instructions will be right and I don't have to mess around with them the game's still going while I'm fiddling with tactical shenanigans which is fantastic uh, but it's not going to make a whole lot of difference that was good defending well done Gallo but we've got four yellow card plays on the kitchen Gallo's on 6.2 while he's down it was 6 he's probably going to drop into the red in a second uh, we'll encourage the boys but I'm not going to lie very disappointed with this performance. We're probably going to concede another one. And taking this kind of hit, dynamic to rise, is not great. The players are just tripping over each other there in midfield. Evandro's come back to claim it, doing his pressing forward thing. And uh, Abanski just made a meal of that and got him away. Oh, a bit of a let off there as their shot goes wide. There's only a couple of minutes left. 
they're bound to have six or seven more chances. We were just decimated by Inter, and that's very sad. Uh, I'm not happy with your performance out there, and we were just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Lessons learned. That's not going to work. Against Inter, we should have gone more defensive. Never mind. We were never expected to win that game. We shouldn't be fourth in the league. I can't stress that enough. Even if we drop out of a Champions League place, even if we drop out of Europe altogether, anything above 16th, 15th is massive for us. Let's have a look at the fallout. So he's injured. He's only out for a couple of days, so that's fine. We've got eight days before we play Palmer. Uh, Perotti being banned for a match is not ideal at all, and he should absolutely be fined for his effort. And, yeah, there we go. Latore Martinez just destroyed us. Absolutely destroyed us. Dynamics-wise, we're doing quite well. Team cohesion is good. I'd like to get that high, but it's very tricky to do it with football manager. I'm not sure how to get there yet. Uh, club atmosphere is excellent. Managerial support is excellent. So everybody's chins are up, and we're pumped. But, yeah, that result, that hurts quite a bit. However, we still sit in fourth, but Juve have a game in hand on us, so we're probably going to drop down to fifth before that happens. And now the lowest we can finish is still 15th. We'll check back in shortly, and we'll see how we do against good old Palmer. Well, this isn't great news. Perotti has been handed a further two-match ban. And, again, we all saw what happened. He went in hard on the player, but there was no injury that I saw. The guy got straight back up. I Either the match engine's doing us dirty and isn't really showing us what went on, which is quite possible. It's not perfect. Or the league's just lost their mind. So I've appealed against it. We'll see what happens. But I can't lose him for three games. He's too important. That would be a disaster. The Italians hate me. Three match ban for Perotti. So Ratnik's going to get some game time. Yay, after his 6.1 and horrible back pass. Brilliant. Just about ready to go against Palmer, and I've made what I think is a, a decent size call after the last match. Kowal uh, is going to come in and play a striker, and Evandro can sit this one out, because with a 6.62, I just... Yeah, not today. We need to win this game. I've also changed our inverted fullbacks uh, to... Or inverted... Well, yeah, inverted fullbacks to fullbacks on attack to push up and support everybody else because we need to. That's the plan. Uh, an attacking variant, I guess you'd call it. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Juve have beaten Udinese, so we're not going to catch them today. Uh, Inter did drop some points, though, uh, in the last round of matches. So we've got a chance to keep the gap nice and narrow to Juventus and hope they slip up again. But we need to get a result. These guys, uh, Palmer, are 17th in the league. We're up in fifth place, so we have dropped down. But we need a result. We just need a result today. And it's a good opportunity to get one. We've got to give out a squad number. Don't even know who's in the team. But Del Grosso was in the squad. He might play. Probably not. See how we go. No idea what to expect. But if we've been, you know, if we screw the pooch again today, then... I think we'll go back to the normal tactic for the rest of the season and call this experiment a failure. Maybe we'll revisit in the summer and plan to use it throughout next season. I'm not sure we've got the right players to pull it off, to be honest. I think we might need some upgrades. I don't really have a transfer plan to the summer. We need to see where we finish and what we've got to spend. That's going to be a major factor in that decision-making process. But the way I'd like to do it, we're in no rush for success here at Palermo. The, the fact that we are fifth in Serie A in our second season. It's insane. And I think the plan will be incremental improvement, upgrading key positions it, uh, as and when we can. I'd like to upgrade the defence a little bit in the summer, although the, the players are good and should be able to do what we're asking of them. Uh, I think we definitely need a striker. If we could find a really top quality striker to help us out and possibly the mentor guys like Evandro, uh, and the gift when he comes back and, and so forth. That would be brilliant. Uh, the next G list came out, by the way, and we've got three players on it uh, in the gift, in, uh, is it Machi, who's out on loan, our, uh, our Thai lad, and uh, the other guy, the Colombian, whose name escapes me because I've not been able to use him, so he's dropped off my radar. <laughs> um, Katian. Yeah, all on the next gen. I think Vandro was on there as well, possibly, so it might be four. 
but we've scored a goal and I've completely missed that. Uh, Chiruna has scored with an assist from Kuol, so tactic works, we're not going to get it off, everything's fine, we're going to win the league. Win it. I keep saying it jokingly, uh, it would be delightful and according to the potential finishing positions, we could still win it if everybody else just fails miserably. But we scored another goal and it's only eight minutes gone. So clearly these balls into the centre, which is what this tactic is designed to produce, is working. Good pass from Ranakia. It's taken a big deflection to get it away from the keeper, but that's a goal for Urbanski. And I'm fine with that. A goal is lovely. And this would leave us two points only behind Juventus. So again, we'd still need them to to drop points we had it in our hands for so long that Champions League spot sitting in fourth place was ours for the taking and you know we've done ourselves a, a, a mischief with a couple of poor results and it's probably my fault the change in tactic but that last match against Inter none of that was my fault that was just poor play all around and Inter being a very very good side we've scored again three goals in ten minutes what is going on? We are just tearing Palmer apart. And I'm okay with it. Great work from Saidi. Lovely finish. Just worked hard. He's beaten Danny Rojas from Ted Lasso there. I don't know if that's his name. I hope it is. It would be awesome. Where are you? Rojas. It's Jason. So he's a guy who writes code for a living and shouldn't be playing football. I'm going to drop some praise on the lads because we've scored three goals in nine minutes. A solo effort from Saidi and some good teamwork for the other two. But now I'm starting to think, if we're going to score like this, having Evandro on the pitch would have been brilliant to get him in the goals. He's definitely going to make an appearance in the second half if we can continue as we've begun Ratnik with a good ball in, good cross. No joy, but Ranaki picks it up. And Chiruna gets in on the action again. That's his seventh goal of the season. And that was delightful. We're 4-0 up in the first half now. And we're playing like a team who knows what they're doing and has got a tactical genius at the home. No idea. It could just be that Palmer are really quite poor. Poor? Poor? Poor. So we need to take this with a grain of salt. But it is Serie A opposition, not Bari, who are a league below. And I take it as progress that this thing actually works when we can get it right. And oddly enough, we're doing it without Perozzi, who is one of our main threats as uh, one of the attacking fullbacks or wingbacks or inverted whatever we're using. The player positioning system in this game baffles me. Palmer have not had a shot, so they're about to have one because I've just said it out loud. We're going to drop some more praise on the lads. Uh, we're not going to play for set pieces. We're making no tactical changes. There you go. There's the shot as directed or as predicted, I should say. I didn't tell them to take a shot. We just all knew it was going to happen. 4-0 up at halftime. Had loads of shots. I'm very happy. Continue on. Nothing else to say. This is great. We would be seven points clear of Fiorentina. And still in a position to stay in touch with Juventus. Bansky with a diving header to absolutely no one. But say he's managed to collect the ball. He's run past three defenders there and come away with it. Abansky now with the opportunity. Passes out to Chayuna, who's lost it in a decent position. Could have crossed, but did not. Probably one touch too many. And now Palmer are looking to break on us. We play it central, and that guy, that is one of the misses of the season. He'll be on the telly for all the wrong reasons after that one. Walu kicks off for us. Abansky has given up the ball cheaply, but wins it back with a strong challenge which we need to be careful of, because apparently you can get banned for four games for that. Uh, Kuel over to Vasic to Saidi, plays it inside. No job, but Vasic is there. Pick up the loose ball. And now Palmer looking to hit us on the counter. We force him backwards. Still coming forwards now. F former Palomo play there. Blin getting involved in court that's a problem. Ratnik gets a foot in. They played it through, and that's poor. Poor defending. Should have done better. Was that Wally? We'll have another look at it here. So they've cut through. Ratnik trying to get the tackle in, but unsuccessful. They played across, and it was Merkindale who's let us down. And that's a shame, because I wanted him to do well today. I bought you in to make a difference, sir, and you've not done, and I'm very disappointed. So as a result, 
get off the football pitch. Maturo is going to come on for him because I'm a monster. Evandro is going to come on for... Uh, let's see. Yeah, for Vasic, we'll move Chuno over there. Koala at wide. That looks good to me. You can play as the advance forward that I want you to do. Any other changes we need to make? Nope, everyone is in a pretty good headspace. And that will do for now. 30 minutes ago. We're still up 4 1. I kind of want to demand more. I'm going to do it and see what happens. Palmer on the attack again. What is going on? Run, Evandro. Get the football. Do some work. Justify your existence. Good defensive header from Maturo. Gets it out nice and deep, but Palmer's still got the ball. Chuana though, picks it up and runs. Kuol now, making a break down the right. He's got support in the centre if he can find him. He's fouled just outside the area. I don't think that's going to be a penalty, because I think he was over the line. If we can get a penalty, we'll take it, but I think it's just outside and it should be a free kick. No penalty. Do we get to see the free kick at all, or is it just a nothing event? Looked like a nothing event. But here's Chayuna, plays it in, heads to the far post, no joy, Wally collects and the highlight. Just fades away. Here's a Bunsky with a corner. Hits it in, near post, no joy, Chayuna, back out to a Bunsky, played inside, he does. The body's there, and that's a goal for Garen Kuo. Lovely stuff, his ninth of the season, just being a goal hanging rascal. We have numbers centered around that far post. Look at the pink shirts in here. Everybody just sort of morphs across. What actually happened? Barsky plays it in. There's just a glut of defenders. They kicked it into Kowal's head. I'm not sure how much he knew about that. But we did have bodies there, and it's 5-1. And now we can praise the lads once again. I'd love Evandro to pop up with a goal here. Can I change his role? What can you do? Be the pressing forward on attack. Try that. Something's got to give. It's a big throw from Palmer. Dangerous position. That was curling all the way, but it's hit the woodwork and out. It's a good effort from Palmer. They've worked hard to try and get back into it, but it hasn't really played dividends. And now we've got a throw on the far side of the pitch. Maturo needs an option. Can't find one. He's doing tricky stuff that he should not be doing as a defender. And Fructil plays it out to Wali, who finds a Barnsky, we play it all the way back to Fruit to the game, we're just trying to build something in this attacking phase, Chuana finds a bit of space, inside, Kuel to Evandro, he runs past two defenders, past three defenders, past all the defenders and scores, that was lovely, 10 goals for the season now for Evandro, and that's the sort of thing we've been looking for him since the season began, just showing off his technical ability, his vision, he just says, you know what boss, stuff this, past two, past three, Past four, and then past the goalkeeper. He had four guys chasing him, and he's beaten every single one of them. That was glorious, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed watching him destroy them just now. <laughs> right. We can just make changes for changes' sake, because we've got some very tired bodies, uh, and we'll change part of the midfield. And if we can throw in another attacker, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play uh, Gristino. He can come on out there. That's five changes. One of the youngsters getting a bit of game time. You can't play there and you can't play there. So this is just madness. Uh, is that the best you can do? Is that all you've got in your locker? Anybody else that can play out there, it might be better. Oh, Grosso. That's who we want. There we go. Much better. What is your major malfunction? Well, you can play in the middle, can't you? There you go. Problem solved. Why didn't you like tell me that? There's only a couple of minutes left, so it doesn't really matter. But if we could get another goal, it'd be awesome. 6-1, though, over Palmer. That makes me feel much better about the Inter result. The tactic definitely works. We are suspect. We do invite Crosses in. That's where most of their attacks came from. But uh, QL had a great day at the office. Two assists and a goal. Vandre getting on the score sheet. Joanna, Bansky, Saidi, nearly all of the attack getting involved and having a lovely day. Outstanding. I'm a very happy camper. Cure, definitely player of the game with a nine, so we'll give him a pat on the head. You were excellent. 
Ranakia was great too with an 8.1. I don't remember even saying his name, but apparently he was brilliant. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Very pleased with Chuana and very happy with Evandro and his work today. You were excellent. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. The result of that, of course, is we stay fifth, but only two points behind Juve. They're probably the only team we're really chasing at this point, unless, uh, unless Roma slip up a little bit more. We're not out of it, but we're 10 points behind Inter. We're not going to finish in the top two, probably not the top three, but we are absolutely in with a shout of a Champions League finish. Between now and the end of the season, though, I'll be doing all of the work offline and you lot can come back for the last two matches of the season. We should have Perozzi back for Frosinone and Sassuolo and we'll see how we get on, how we're going to finish in the league and whether or not we need to prepare for European football next season. Well, as a Spectre player of the game, pat on the head for him. Good job, my fellow Australian. What a signing. Before we bounce, let's just have another look at Garen Kowal because he's got value of between five and seven million. Four and a half star player now, I'll have you know. Uh, three and a half, sorry. We got him in on a free. So he played in Australia for years. He went to Newcastle for 700 grand. Never played a game for him. Went to Hearts and played eight matches. Wasn't very good. Oh, he did play games for Newcastle, sorry. Played 10 times and then just rotted in the reserves, which is a real shame. We've brought him here to Italy and he's lighting it up. Vindication for Garen Kowal. Vindication for me, your old mate, DP. And now the lowest we can finish in the league is 11th place. Solid mid-table if we were to lose every game between now and then, which is still better than last season. But I think we can do better than that. You'll find out about that tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, in case you haven't noticed, I kind of stealthily change the update schedule for Project Palomo and we're releasing episodes daily, Mondays through to Thursdays is how it's happening because nobody's watching anything I put up on a Friday. So you miss out. Uh, if you do want things on a Friday, you're going to have to leave a comment and convince me. Tell me your story. Justify your existence. But if you're enjoying Project Palomo, leave a comment telling me that too. Even if you're not, I don't care. It would all help massively. If you've never left a comment, today is the day. Do it. I promise to reply to every single one, possibly just with song lyrics. But also like the episode, Get the word out about Project Palomo because I think it's awesome and you do too. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Also say hi to your mum for me. And remember, if you can't be good, don't get caught. Palermo! Palermo! Palermo!